But hello, hello, everybody. And today we are going to be continuing our Breath, well, not Breath of the Wild. I keep saying Breath of the Wild because it's set in the same world ish. We, but Brain just wants to say it. But it is Age of Calamity, Hyrule Warriors that we're doing. Last time, we, I believe, I'm trying to think. I do believe last time we mostly just did the destroy the Yiga, fought Koga and Suga, but Aster has a plan. And then <laughs> the monk Maz Koshia decided to come out of hiding and fight us. Although kind of sad that we didn't fight on top of the big, like, divine beast platform again. Instead was just inside a normal shrine cave. I actually managed to do some grinding off stream. Mostly doing the, like, uh, vicious monsters to get some of the da-da-da. Of which we only can do this one right now. But it is very good. Weapon capacity plus 20. We'll never be a... Uh, it'll be... Like, at this point, it's not really that big of a thing. It just means that I'm going to hoard more weapons. I've worked tirelessly to develop new weapons based on ancient technology. But I've hit a wall. I just need a bit more information to make it work. Take all of my vicious monster Fantastic. certificates. I did it! So many glorious weapons! <laughs> I mean, thanks for your help. I'll put these weapons to good use for my precious research. Uh, and uh, to help fight the calamity, of course. Now we can carry 54. And let's see what other things we unlock in here. Or at least have possibility for. Improves quality of found weapons. Requires relic analysis. No idea how to do that. And report vicious monsters. Meanwhile, here we just need to do a hundred stasises. That's going to be so easy. I spam that. And then increases stasis damage. Revali is just going to get more Revali. Here it's more vicious monsters, big cores... And money for increased max weapon level. Ooh, this one will be interesting because we have to get here to even see what that's going to be, even if we unlock that. That'll be interesting. But let's see. Increased rod duration. I think we'll come across that eventually naturally, so I guess... Oh. Oh, I guess I'll... I just did it by habit. Because we don't really need it, need it. Because I'm going to do it naturally. Because I wonder if that will still appear at the end of combat. Or if it'll be like, oh, you're not tracking that, so we're not going to tell you at the end of combat. Well, we'll have to wait and see. Thanks. Yes, quite. <laughs> yes, quite. Might as well spend more of my money. come here because it's pointing because we definitely need to do more fusion let's see is there any like damage per 100 in here of which there does not seem to be they're just starving or bolsa <laughs> maybe they're maybe the game's learning is like oh you're just doing that we can't support that that's illegal Let's see. Because here, I think it's the next emblem we get is at level 20 and not 15, so we don't really need to worry about anything. <laughs> Throw that in there. I don't think we need to worry about Link. Now, Ravali. Let's see. It doesn't seem we have any... Oh, wait. Nope. There is some fusion material. They just aren't highlighted on this screen. Hmm, that's a little weird. You'd think that the 
like high sell like the high sell for resale weapons like they get highlighted you'd think that the fusion material experience would also get like a notification in the fusion screen <laughs> love the music in this game. So good. Let's see. I'll throw some levels into Boulder Breaker. Definitely. I just want to make sure I always select the proper thing. Ah. Once again. You'd think that the fusion material thing would be, like, on the weapon itself again, like the re like selling weapon ones. Else they kind of pass by to a degree. It's not like a deal breaker, mm -hmm. just a little odd. Ever so slightly weird. Just a little bit strange. <laughs> I guess before we jump into When Courage Fails, let's see, because I believe there's monks training. Let's go be a monk. I almost kind of like that you can't really tell what he's saying under the filter. Because there it's like, it sounded like you said, that's interesting. But let's get some monk experience. It's a jungle out there. It's been forever since I've watched Monk. Monk Maz Koshia. Absorb ancient energy from relics summoned with strong attacks. Use the art to release that energy and grow in size. I will definitely need to remember that. Definitely, definitely. The ultimate power of the monk will be ours. I just want to see what he looks like on the loading screen. He's after the great fairies. He's just a monk floating sideways like a crab. Get bald. He just summons a shrine. I smash you. I smash the shrine infinitely. How dare you hit me? I freeze you. Bonk. 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 Let's see what happens. <laughs> Double hammer! He plays wicked bongos. Just because I can. Freeze. Oh, something hit me. You were behind all of them. You dare hit me. Dang it. There we go. My dodging was below par. You know, since there's just a bunch of dudes over here, activate and see what happens. Get blasted. I don't even know what really happened there. Get balls. You know what? I'll just do this again. A trial awaits. How dare you yeet things at me. Oh. 
again. I shall kick you, or will I just slam you? Oh, I do kind of kick him. Get hammered. I was behind you, how dare you hit me? Much illegal. All is for Hyrule. Oh, defeat the blue moblin. I will throw this axe back at you. Get slapped, idiot. Okay, so two is the balls. Get slapped. Two. Nope, that's still balls. Three is the good one for area of control. I shall grow big and laser blast you. I do like that he actually summons, like, the ancient Sheikah stuff. The balls, the electricity, like, sphere. A mere glimpse of my power. Indeed. He's not even walking around, he's flying around. These boots are made for kicking moblin ass, apparently. Bands of enlightenment. <laughs> apparently he gets crabs. And we're almost halfway there for stasising people. And also good, it doesn't require me to specifically follow the, like, EX lab challenges to actually be able to see them at the end of combat screens. Just a nice little thing. I think I'll save doing the vicious monster ones for like off screen cause it's just like a repeatable mission for money. Let's see. Mighty Thunder of the Gerudo, which is an Urbosa obligatory. And then we can swap out for somebody else. Let's throw in... Let's throw in Impa. I haven't used Impa in a while. As always, give us the experience bonus! And we'll go beat up some people. Also, I just realized, like, it feels like we got, like, the monk guy super early into the game, all things considered. Whereas, I only ran into him at the very end of Breath of the Wild. This Link didn't even have to do one-hit challenges. Yeah. Follow along. Get blasted. Now we just need to capture all the outposts. Freeze, morons. Your oblivion comes. And we'll just have Impa follow along. Uh -huh. I really like the music. It's simple, just very, very nice. But as we do side quests, uh, since I have had, like, the, like, urge to play... Ocarina of Time, and it's been years since I played Ocarina of Time. I think I last played it when I was a literal child when we had a, a Nintendo 64 in the house. So, I was uh, just messing around to try and uh, see if uh, the emulator I have would work well 
for doing it, just to make sure everything's, like, initially running well. And annoyingly, it just would not want to, like, have the uh, controller be controller. Which is just very bothersome. I don't know why, because what I have to do is, like, after much, like, uh... I guess I could send her back to guard. But the, for whatever reason, the main thing was apparently, I guess the emulator, like I'll have to look through the settings a bit more, but it seems like the emulator seems to default to per, like, uh, game settings rather than like actual overall settings and even though the like uh, game was like set to use the emulator overall systems plugins I had to like set the game like plugins to specifically use the like what should be the default plugin, but it's just not <laughs> like actually like reading it as or something. I don't know. Basically, the default system plugin for like the controller input is the default, and the game is set to use that, but it wasn't really for some reason. So I had to go and change it from use the default like what the system is using to specifically the one that the system is using even though it should still be the default it's just very confusing and stupid and you can stay there I'll just do this wipe this out so I can get a slight move on since I'll have to jump back to Impa to defeat the invading moblins yeah I just I don't understand when things just don't work when they should especially for something as simple as just like hey like, you'd think for an emulator, they'd try to make being able to use the controller super easy. Understood. Just dead enough, feels odd. From YouTube chat, hello, hello! How are you doing today? Right now, we're doing some side quests in Age of Calamity, which I called Breath of the Wild again because it, look at it, it's basically Breath of the Wild. Basically, basically. I played uh, the Monk Man for the first time. Very interesting. <laughs> I keep forgetting that her weak point break is... Yeet a frog. I also keep forgetting to use the clones. This is like Star Wars, we gotta use the clones. Dang it, I almost had you. But what do you mean? A monster has made it in. It, it is but the one that I'm beating up right now. Oh, I, I thought that... I thought my heavy attack was the... An, uh, annihilate them. But it was not for I'm a fool. That, that one move always gets me because... They just zoom at supersonic speeds. Uh, right after I used it, too. It's like you knew. You'd do it to mock me. But now I do it again, because I can. Yes, other Moblin, I see you. I acknowledge your existence, Blue Moblin, who shall soon die. 
I do like that doing a weak point smash sends like all the other captain monsters ragdolling. It is amusing. I will take your axe. And I will use it to hit your ass. Soon this outpost will be mine. Why do you keep trying to throw your weapon? I know that you're kind of like a weird Sith monster that can just summon an axe back into existence after smacking me with it. But still, the question does remain. I wonder if there ever was, like, throwing clubs. Because I know there's, like, throwing axes and stuff like that, but, like... A blunt club, I highly doubt, was ever used as a actual throwing thing. Like, you'd think spears, like, throwing axes, maybe even throwing daggers, but throwing clubs? Let me guess, a uh, bomb? I presume bomb. Get bombed, idiot. And Urbosa decide to, just like Daruk, to fly away. Completely wrong direction. But luckily, the big smackdown still destroyed its weak point. I like that it seems like each champion seems to have their own unique, and now I shall fly into the stratosphere rune. Oh, I was told that the there was a big monster that invaded. I guess there wasn't. In celebration, freeze and die. In honor of that one thing I must do. How about I do this instead? And you die? Explosion. Oh. Yeah, you poke me. Well, you're being very annoying. Stop that. How dare you put me into a stun lock. I now flurry rush you. Instead, a monster has made into the end, the ally base. Just completely despite the fact it's probably just a bacoblin. It is a little goblin. Fear its power, I guess. Be flurry rushed, idiot. I will take all of your mushrooms for my own. We will then put those mushrooms into little mechas so they can wander around, which is apparently a thing they can do. The horrors of science. We're gonna give mushrooms legs. And we already completed it. Huzzah. I do like that it seems to be a very easy, like, once you realize the best way to do it, you can do it really quick. <laughs> For the KO required from runes. It's you! Mm, yes! Mm, yes! Now let's see what the middle is! Oh wait, no, I don't think we'll be able to do that because we have to wait for... Because you see there's a line going off of it. And we have to <laughs> get all the preceding lines to it. Yep, can't see it. Improves quality of found weapons. Hmm. Well, I guess that... Although, hmm, see, so yeah, I just need to get ten of the small ones. I'm going to set that there because improved quality of found yes. weapons is, yes, I think, a little bit better. Ever hey. so slightly better. Do, do, uh. do. Uh. Mm, just 
just become poor <laughs> from buying the ancient relics from the Birdman. From YouTube chat, hey, I'm playing Zelda Breath of the Wild. Currently, I'm going to complete all the side quests. My hat I tip to you. You're a stronger person than I. <laughs> and find any last shrines before I face the final boss, Calamity Ganon. Good luck with that. <laughs> At least it's not going for all the Korok seeds, because I think that's a bit more insane. A bit mad. But doing all, like, quests and shrines is at least a bit more attainable compared to most others. Ah, oh, bonus combo for the monk. It's happening again. Strands of light coalesce into words, forming a cryptic message. You have conquered an otherworldly trial. Present proof of your triumph and a token of courage. Gonna take all my choo-choo trophies. I wonder why I have so little choo-choo trophies. I guess I haven't been running into them a lot, but still. To mark your achievement, we bestow upon you the gift of fearlessness. Let's see. Is there any other, like... Seems to be a few up here. Anti-flame training. And tough bulwark of the Gorons. Ah, oh, we did. Basically the Gerudo version. I wish to keep everyone safe. Just stick with me, okay? Let's -a go. I wonder how it would taste. Delicious. Now I wonder how many like overall quests there are in Breath of the Wild. It has to be a fair few. Probably not as many as there are shrines, though. I do believe it was like 160 shrines overall. Maybe? It's a decent amount. Although I will stand by the Korok seeds were never really meant to be a completion thing, but they also knew that people would go and find the absolute insane amount of Korok seeds. So like, well, we have to put something in there. If we don't put something in here, people would get angry. Again, I really, really like the Goron theme for combat. Just nice. Be gone, choo choos. And no fire breathing at the Goron. Massively illegal. See you. Interesting that it seems that uh, Daruk is like one of the few champions that literally can't like uh, dodge out of his stasis combo. It's actually very interesting. I freeze you. Get comboed, idiot. <laughs> Stop throwing your weapon. It's highly inefficient. Although now I come to think of it, why is a moblin having such, like, issues swinging a hammer? Seems crazy. Beat up the Lizalfos. <laughs> I appreciate the help. Let's get to it. Yes, yes, yes. A Bacoblin has made it into the base. Ragoron. How in the world can it be too hot? Oh, 
Also, I'm just doing the uh, going to complete the base vanilla game. No DLC quests and definitely not the Korok seeds. Very much understandable. I don't think there's like anybody that would be like, oh, you didn't collect all the Korok seeds. Because like a main part of like why the Korok seeds are that plentiful is because they wanted you to be able to actually like collect a decent amount of them. Especially since, like, if they made too few, then the casual players just, like, wouldn't get any upgrades to their inventory. I'm on it. So it's just kind of extra funny that people are like, ah, we must punish the Koroks in Tears of the Kingdom. When it's just like, they were there for you. They were friends. It is your own perceptions that made them evil. Oh yeah, nothing to it. Take this, Lesalfos. Be bullied into death. Now I now that I, now I actually have an a ponderance. I wonder what the average amount of Korok seeds for, like, casual playthrough is. That'd be interesting to know. Because, like, people who go out of their way more might find more than others. And those that, like, actively seek out the Korok seeds without looking up a guide would probably find more. And then, and now I wonder how many people actually did, even with a guide, go forth and find all the Korok seeds. What percentage of people who played Breath of the Wild found them all, the mad people? Like, little statistics like that would be very interesting, and makes me really appreciate ones like, uh, like, a uh, Steam, where they... Steam achievements. Even though, like, some things in games don't have achievements, you can't really... Like, ah, out of all the people that own this game, this percentage did that. There's still, like, little interesting things like that. In fact, now I wonder how many people actually started Breath of the Wild, but never beat Calamity Ganon. Because that's the... The market I would have fallen into initially. Had Breath of the Wild since the very beginning, the Switch launch. And then, like, at least got two or three Divine Beasts in, but never beat it. That's probably why I really like playing games on stream. It actually gives me a bit more motivation to actually sit down and play games more. Else sometimes my brain just goes, eh, procrastination mode. The weird thing of like, ooh, I want to play game, but then I don't. Okay, when Octoroks get out of sync, that's actually very annoying. I can only collect, uh, I only collect a lot of Korok seeds to expand my weapons inventory. Exactly. Just get enough for a few weapon, well, a decent amount of weapons. You definitely want more weapon inventory. And then, like, maybe one or two shields, a handful of bows, just to give you more options. But even then, like, uh, I still don't understand why the weapon durability system got that much hate. Because it really is not that bad. Like, you can say subjectively that you dislike him, that's perfectly fine, because depending on your preferences, maybe it's just not to your speed, your personality, your vibe. But it seems like it got, like, super hated on for nearly no reason. Again, 
the rain was immensely worse. <laughs> Extra funnily, I remember somebody coming into my stream like, oh, but there is a armor set that makes it easier to climb in the rain. And unless they were specifically talking about the just in general climbing set, they were lying. Because there is no specifically this helps you climb in <laughs> rain set. Eve no minoe. Granted, at the same time, I never did find any barbarian set during my playthrough. But I am vindicated slightly in that the rain is horrible evil and there is no fighting it. It is the ultimate evil of Hyrule. Calamity Ganon comes in second. That's actually hilarious. Two Moblins were just the normal force to protect this big Lazalfos. Doo 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 doo. Got flame breaker boots. Would be funny if the armor for Link actually still had gameplay effects like it did in Breath of the Wild. Although that would then make Link kind of OP, but still potentially funny. Yes, 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 vicious presence. We know that you run around and do things, that you exist. And then anti flame training. Who should we throw in? Let's do Mifa. Let's try and get Mifa some gameplay time. Outside of just defending a base. Now we fly away into the sky. But I definitely need to play more Zelda games. I'm definitely more motivated to be like, ah, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword. But there are still a few, like, 2D ones that I need to get to, like a Link to the Past, maybe the uh, Oracle of Seasons and Ages, because those are, like, childhood games I had that were pretty fun. Kind of fun and interesting, so definitely need to give them a try. There's, like, plenty of, uh, just ones that I've, like, I've played more 3D Zeldas and, like, heard about more 3D Zeldas than the 2D ones. I don't know why, just, like, uh, the 2D ones aren't as, like, uh, ooh, yeah, I need to play that as the 3D ones for some reason. Could be that I had more of the, like, really big 3D Zeldas when I was a kid compared to the 2D ones, because I think, like, technically I did play, like, the original Legend of Zelda on NES, because my family had an NES when I was a kid. But the only, like, 2D Zeldas that I played a decent bit were Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages. Didn't have the other major ones as a kid. Meanwhile, I had Ocarina of Time, I had Breath of... Uh, well, I had a Majora's Mask and Twilight Princess. Just felt like you hear about Skyward Sword and Wind Waker more than even Link to the Past. Or Link's Awakening. Get Flurry Rush, fool! This is one has a gate. Is it going to open? Odd oh, Hinox. A fire Hinox at that. I exploded. How oh, dare. I keep forgetting that I can actually kick off of walls. We'll destroy the enemies a bit because we get resources from their death. And now we will fight the big monster man. 
It's a monster mash. Get blasted. Get obliterated, Fire Hinox. It's the power of Zoro. <laughs> Zoro from One Piece, but he's a Zora. Every single time they do that, I expect it to be an attack. Whenever they do a jump back. How did you get a flaming log? From the earth. Like a, a normal log, sure, but a flaming one? Alright, your hitboxes... Or I guess I should say your flurry rush hitboxes are... A little odd. Be still and die. Somehow I got a hot-footed frog and some nightshade. Oh, was not expecting that. Darn it. I don't know why, but my dodging's just bad with Mipha. Or maybe, a, who knows, could be the area, could be the camera, could be Hinox. Could be anything. Stop exploding. Explosions are bad for your health. Dada. I did have to eat an apple, but I won the day. And from you to chat, also I already know what happens in the game when you collect all 900 seeds and what the completion is. I'm not against collectibles as gimmicks in games, such like mini kits in the Lego games. Like, that's what I was saying earlier, because, like, obviously there's so many Korok seeds in the game because they want even casual players to be able to go pick up a enough, like, Korok seeds to be able to do things. And get, like, a decent amount of, uh, like, upgrades. So if they put too few amount of, up like, Korok seeds... The casual player might be lucky to get only a handful of them. Meanwhile, if uh, they put, like, uh, as many as they did, super, 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 like, there comes things like, Dad, do we put a completion bonus? And, like, what kind of completion bonus do we give them? So it kind of being a joke kind of makes sense, because it uh, wasn't something really meant to be collected. But then they did anyway, because... Those silly completionists. They'll complete anything. Do, do, do. Let's see. Can do a handful more of diddly dees. Let's see. Chief of the Dunes. Can we fight a Malduga? Let's fight them again, but maybe upgrade some people's levels slightly. Upgrade everyone, like the main people that I'll really use. It's mostly the champions. I really like the playstyle of the champions at the very least. Has to not so so much. But let's go defend the sands. Who shall we defend the sand set? No, let's do it as Orbosa. She deserves it. Can we start even? Not half bad. Urbosa can go defend the sands. Also come to think of it from that comment, I don't think I've ever played a Lego game. Like a long, long time ago. Like a long, long time ago, I might have played a little bit, but I don't think I've ever owned and like sat down and played a Lego game. Although I think... Like, from a few things I've gotten free of them, but, like, there's one of those things that I always knew about, always here, but I've never actually played. <laughs> and hey, Neon, there's also more Korok seeds to collect in Tears of the Kingdom, a lot more than it was in Breath of the Wild. That kind of makes sense, because from what I hear, uh, Tears of the Kingdom, like, one of the complaints is that... 
like, the base Hyrule, like, is all there but not changed as much. But there's also, like, other areas that are super duper large and added in. So, it kind of makes sense that if they added a lot more area to the game beyond just Hyrule, that they would also fill it in with more Korok seeds as well. Get blasted, Wizrobe. I need to go defend my base. <laughs> Although I guess that's like one uh, potential reason to really go and uh, like a <laughs> stream Tears of the Kingdom sooner than later is that way, just in case I don't accidentally run into like spoilers. From either memes or videos like, oh, it's been out long enough, I can use it as background footage. Or just general things. But at the same same time, like, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask aren't that super duper long, I don't think. It's over indeed. All of the Yiga are dead. Every last one of them. That one that hit me? Not at all existing. We'll let that other Wizrobe live as I head out, I guess, to fight a Melduga. Or no, that was the other one. To Suga out here in the middle of the desert. I'll freeze you out. <laughs> Smash your head. Get smashed, you fool. And I shall now do this. I'll blast you away. Not going to freeze you. Dodge. Cancel. Yes, game, I know a single Yiga man has made it into the base. Sure, my base can survive two blade masters. Oh darn it! They can send as many blade masters as they want. Take this, Suga! Be obliterated! Be obliterated from behind! Get frozen! Maybe I'll have to run back and defend the base a bit. Now you just stay right there, Suga. I'll be right back to kick your ass. Who knows, maybe Suga will come to me. Instead. Get frozen. Get blasted! You try your little ninja smoke. How oh dare. Get flurry rushed. With enemies that I don't know the, like, attack patterns for, it's always kind of amusing to get a, a flurry rush on them. It's just suddenly... Suddenly a flurry rush. I'll do this to try and hit two at the same time. <laughs> Another flurry rush. Get obliterated. I forget, do I even get anything unique from a Blade Master? I don't think I do. I think it's just. Yeah, Mighty Bananas. Get frozen. You fools. Get 
basic attack you to death. <laughs> you're just really you're the one that keeps trying to use it, I think. Now just die so I can go back and beat up e <laughs> Suga. Well, I should probably eat an apple. Just in case. I believe it's just this. Get freezing. Combo me? Surprise. I'm the one that combos you! Get obliterated, fool. I still don't think that Arbosa has gotten, like, a decent seal that I would want to put on her main scimitar. The pain. Le agony. Oh, then we got another... I guess this is part of just a series. Oh, and I almost forgot these still have. I keep forgetting that the battles have descriptions. It's because they're hidden behind a menu. Gerudo soldiers and members of the Yiga clan are clashing in the Gerudo desert. Protect the outposts and rout the Yiga clan to secure victory. A horde of monsters has pushed into the Gerudo desert, and Urbosa has set out to engage them. Capture the enemy outposts and bring peace to the desert. I believe that should do it for now, and now we're gonna go and see when courage Ooh, fails. You have a lot to look to. As always, experience! Surprising. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's not starting with us jumping off of the tower. Are you certain of this? Yes. Zelda's next birthday will mark the Ooh, date. They got that information. Return. So he's probably going to yes. push her to awaken the power early. How would the images indicate her birthday? Time has run out, then. Zelda. You and the knights will travel to the Spring of Courage. No matter what it takes, you must awaken your power before the Calamity returns. At least here there's a bit more... Understood. I, I do like how this has affected... Zelda and Rome. From the I'll continue Guardian, with this. Indicated that Calamity Ganon would return on Zelda's 17th birthday. Desperate to preempt this grim future, King Rome ordered his daughter to train at the Spring of Courage. Because it's really interesting how the time traveling information has altered Zelda and Rome's relationship compared to Breath of the Wild because in Breath of the Wild it was just, you need to do this and he's very harsh about it. Here, he was actually a bit lenient because I guess also the technology has been helping them a bit so uh, her continuing on with the technology while also keeping up her like studies to try and awaken her power was a bit of like a what's the word? I'm trying to think of the word, but I completely forgot. But like a, a concession between them. Plus also the added in bit of 
like Zelda's mother apparently really kind of helping foster Zelda's want to be kind of an archaeologist, uncover the ancient technology bit. And here, instead of being like, ah, oh, people are talking bad about you, no more talking, uh, doing the technology. Here, he doesn't even stop her from doing the technology. It's just, we have a time limit. It, I must order you to go and train at the Spring of Courage. Which is also interesting, because I do not think the Spring of Courage was ever in any of the memories. There was this the Spring of Power, which was the one where she's, like, actually in the, the spring, and she begins crying, why, Hylia, have you forsaken me, kind of. And then, like, one of the memories is her coming down from the Spring of Wisdom. And that's, like, the fun... Well, funnily enough, one of the first memories you can get, but, like, one of the last memories chronologically. From YouTube chat? Hi! Hello, hello. We are playing Age of Calamity, and I'm really enjoying the story. As well as... Also, there's shrines as well in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Not Sheikah, but from the Zone. I'm gonna stop reading that there, just in case to avoid spoilers. But I do remember there being, like, ah, the Zone, the Zone. And also, like, uh... Like, heard mentions of them from social media. No idea what they are, who they are. But I do remember, like, during my Breath of the Wild playthrough that there were Zonai ruins around the, the Spring of Courage, come to think of it. So I can't wait to discover what all that's about when I play Tears of the Kingdom. The King, Princess Zelda, and every living being in Hyrule could sense the thunderous footsteps of a looming scourge. Scourge. Yeah, I don't I think do the Spring of, I can. like, Courage As was right now, ever featured in any of the memories. All I have to give is my faith that things will work out. This is the thread that I have been following all this time. Even so... All of the research into the relics, if I cannot awaken to my power, will have been in vain. Everyone else is carrying out their duties with such grace. I really like how Age of Calamity kind of oh, rewrites the story. Especially because it's actually the focus this time potential. and not just in memories. Princess Zelda. Take a break somewhere. I've got really, uh, suddenly I'm really hungry. <laughs> Poor Empa, trying to Impa. liven things up. It's just no more time. Like, also, how extra depressing does it have to be to know that your birthday signals the end of the world? Also, Link, you were sucking at your duty. Those monsters should not have snuck up on you like that. We'll have Rivali follow Link. Link follow Rivali. Monsters here? In any case, all we can do is push them back. <laughs> Repel the monster hordes. I will fight too. I will be an asset rather than a hindrance. Princess, you must be exhausted from training. Please, do not overburden yourself. Zelda is exhausted from training. Link, you must protect the princess and stop those monsters. I do kind of like that. Like, uh, getting the Sheikah Slate into a more battle-ready condition early and having it actually be, like, really good for combat also kind of encourages Zelda to be more... Like, I will go out there and help. Just neat. Uh. How dare you smack me with an axe. Also, where are the, in, like, moblins just scavenging these normal axes and hammers from? Come to think of it, how do Lynels actually 
forge their weapons, because the Lionel's weapons are unique to the Lionel's. <laughs> Is there just a secret society of Lionel's out there? The monsters keep coming. Everyone stay focused. Do not worry about me. You are literally the one everyone is worrying about. Princess, I appreciate your valor, but if things go bad, save yourself. You promise me that. Monsters are attacking from multiple outposts. Let's split up and capture them. Let me just clear out this place of all the monsters. A bit. Dawn ruins. And I guess since there's multiple, you go there, Ravali will go the other way. After I just try to clear the base out a bit. Come to think of it, this place looks a lot different from how I remember the Spring of Courage from Breath of the Wild. Could be that maybe like, this place was also kind of ravaged by the Calamity. Could also be just artistic license, because they're like, eh, hey, let's make it look cool. You stand a chance. Be, still. be still and suffer rain of arrows. Link, Impa, everyone, they're all fighting so valiantly for me, while I... Try your best. That is what you've all been doing. You can head back to the main place. With the power of sword, be obliterated. Boom. Obliterate the enemies. It seems like Impa's already gone down this path. Ever so slightly. Seems more like happens as Don Octorox hiding down here. No idea how I shoot <laughs> shoot them from underground, but I will accept it. Behold. Behold the power of bombs. I'll just kaboom. Again, this place just looks really cool. Maybe I didn't appreciate it enough on my playthrough of Breath of the Wild. Entirely possible. You must be stopped. My favorite weak point breaking combo. Papaya really does get similar looks from Impa. She kind of does. That's actually kind of neat. I wonder if they actually, like, designed uh, Young Impa first. Or if they uh, made Papaya and then designed Age of Calamity Impa afterwards. Monsters near the princess, we must return at once. As, like, after they made uh, Papaya from a Breath of the Wild when they were making Age of Calamity. And they're like, oh, we're going to have Impa be a character. And actually see her for once as not old. I guess that'd be a thing. Princess, are you well? Yes, I'm fine. I have to constantly be like, yes, read the ongoing dialogue. What a relief. Now please don't fret. We'll make quick work of these foul monsters. I wanted to say foul beasts for some reason. These foul beasts.
finally. The monster incursions have quieted. Have they, though? Have they? Thank you, everyone. Let's return to the castle while we still can. It does seem like every time we leave the castle, we get attacked. I was not successful, and we are not safe here. Let us make haste. Alright, so actually, we'll have you follow Zelda. Now I wonder what it would be like if you, like, modded in, like, this sheer volume of monsters into Breath of the Wild and had Link fight them all at once. If, like, normal Breath of the Wild Link could even do it from, like, a gameplay perspective. Or if the Switch would just choke and die. I feel like something's gonna happen. There's closed gates, which could mean anything. The hordes have appeared. Monsters are coming from both the north and the south. Unless we do something, we'll be pincered. Come to think of it, why aren't there, like, crab monsters? A sea of trees, I wonder. If we top them, perhaps they'll block the way. How do we do that? Do we throw bomb? Aha! Has been blocked by couple trees. We don't even need to kill them. Oh, but now Blink is kind of... Or is he blocked in there? Nope. I was just very closer than I thought as Rivali. I wonder how much, like, agility training Zelda has gotten just by being mildly capable of fighting due to the, sh the slate. Watch and learn. You stand a chance. Oh, and there's another one, that's why. Another tree that we need to topple. There we go. <laughs> now the muscles have, like, couldn't read that fast enough on the pool. Yes, let's hurry. And we're gonna be ambushed in there, aren't we? Oh, that's a Korok right there. <laughs> I bet we could bring that tree down. Then we could cut off the monsters to the west. But first... Korok. Let everyone through. I can use this. Bombs. Now we have trapped ourselves. Although they probably would have teleported us in if it... Like, uh... If we did get trapped. Good, we're safe for the moment. Let's hurry back. I don't think we're safe. I think we're only continuing the danger. Oh, so tired. It is raining. Princess, you look exhausted. Won't you please? No, I insist. Take a rest at once. Um, Impa, we can't. No, no, you're right. I'm sorry, everyone. We must let Zelda recover. I don't sense any monsters around, and yet... Is it because they are Yiga instead? That way. Link, go that way. Link. I knew it was too good to be true. No matter what, we must protect the princess. <laughs> Take down these monsters. Of course, I got chip damaged by. <laughs> it's like a 
Oh, a nice was robe. Another monster has appeared. Not for long. You go back to Zelda. And I'll take you out as well. I'll go ahead and take you out because I can. Be obliterated. And, and Link can stay. Don Electro Trues? But Link can stay there to swap to in case something else starts spawning from that other way. Well, apparently I finished something. Probably a chest on top of the hideout. The monster base. Get flurry rushed, idiot! Another flurry rush. I didn't even really intend that one! That's enough of a rest for now. I apologize for the delay, everyone. It will be done. All right, everyone, let's move out. That's not what I want, game. There's a lot of water up ahead, so watch your step. <laughs> there are relics I recognize toppled all around here, but they appear to be broken. For taking my camera away. I wonder if they were widely used in the past game. For taking my camera away. It's fascinating. They also remind me of something. I'll send Rivali this way. To take this base because I can. Works doubly so because Zelda's remaining back there. Kind of stationary for now, which I do not mind. Allows me to take my time. Waddle this way, little Bacoblin. Well, I guess technically big Bacoblin. Your annihilation starts now. They <laughs> just disappeared. Got poofed immediately. Oh, maybe that's why they were covered in monsters. Hmm. We have more ancient relics. Are you being harassed by a single Azalfos? The most dastardly thing on the planet. A single lizard. I wonder if I actually went and, like, paid attention to the Zonai ruins in Breath of the Wild if there would be these, like, kind of Sheikah technology things lounging abound. And... Darn it. It's a little frustrating that Link's bombing is so utterly terrible. <laughs> Time for the cleanup. Take this. The best for mindless destruction. He's the bird. Simple enemies. Just drop dead. From the power of these combos. Which is arrow, 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 arrow. But how? The way out is just up ahead, but no! The road is blocked! It is raining. It is storming. Oh dear. Wait. The relics are moving? It looks similar to Valruta's training mechanism. Perhaps we can use the little one's power.
Activate. Oh, it literally is. It's like a mini, <laughs> a mini trunk. But instead of being like a, uh, a water hose for a firefighter, it's like a ballistic missile of water. No, I... Wait a moment. Do you hear something? It does have to suck that, like, her technological knowledge doesn't help much on the front of saving the world. I recognize that sound. Is that what I think it is? Everyone, stay on your guard! It's just a Henox. We've killed plenty of them by now. Although it is a blue Hinox, maybe that... Darn it. Be still. Time to take away your health. Get blasted. And I guess I can go ahead and do this. You stand a chance. I can then. Oh, I can't do that because I. Uh, no, I can! Haha! Even if I didn't get the volley off, I can still destroy you. Say goodbye. Because I like poke you in the eye with my bow. Because of you, Princess, your keen senses saved us. And your technological knowledge. I... Really, it, it was thanks to your strength. It's a combination. Your g you, guidance you guided our strength. Uh, okay. You said that you are the only one who can't live up to your potential. But that's completely untrue. I mean, you saved all of us just now. Of your effort, your research is not in vain, Princess. But there's still the fact that we saw the future. <sighs> so it's just like, but at the same time, she needs like support. We can defy that future. We already kind of have. Thank you, Impa. <sighs> I won't. You just have to believe in yourself. I will fight to fulfill my duty until the very end. Well, that is what happened in the canon timeline. From YouTube chat. Hi, really hello, hello. All I can do. We're playing more Age of Calamity. And the, sh the spring of courage failed us. And we have just... For a moment there, I was just like, huh? Who's that? It's like, oh yeah, it's the, the monk man. I'm not used to having his weapons pop up in front of me. We got egg tart. Material drop rate increase. Ooh. That might be nice. That might be nice indeed. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> be hilarious if there was like a meal we could cook that like Gives us two certificates for killing a monster, even though we only kill one. Alright, that's a bit ominous. First off, upgrades apparently for the Divine Beasts. Two, mission at the castle. And it's question mark, question mark. Oh, yeah. Ominous! <laughs> From YouTube chat, impressions? I really, really, really like... Hey. Age of Calamity. The music, the gameplay, the story. I really love the story, mostly because like we get to focus more on like the characters, get to see them more. It's just all very nice. Don't be a stranger. It's all just very, very nice. Hey. I'll also take uh. that. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Power up Divine Beast Varudanya. A little bit vague, but sure. 
the Gorons are using Divine Beast Varudanya to study Death Mountain's volcanic crater. It'd be tragic if their notes burned up, so bring materials for creating a fireproof notebook. You'd think that they would already have that since they're Gorons. They live at the base of a volcano. The fireproof notebook was perfect for the Gorons' research, so the crater study was completed nicely. Using Divine Beast Varudanya in the work also improved its piloting systems. The recharge time for Magma Rain has been reduced. And that made Elden, <laughs> the Elden region very happy. <laughs> do, 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 do. So we could go bonus combo, more hearts for Mipha. <laughs> Earn a recipe for fish pie, okay. Just like Mama made. A traveling merchant misses his mother's cooking and wants to make one of her fish pies. He doesn't have what he needs to make the dough, however. Get it for him. Here you go. Some wheat. Bravo. The merchant was able to make the dough and bake a fish pie that reminded him of home. It tasted just like his mother made it. In thanks, he shared the recipe with you. Damage from enemies, minus 5%. Power up Von Boris. You hear a plan to use Divine Beast Von Boris to patrol the desert. Many are worried about what's out there. Show them proof you have what it takes to defeat such terrors. Take some Alduga trophy, but elsewise, not much. <laughs> yes, yes, Mr. Monkman. After people saw proof of your prowess, they had great expectations for the result of the desert patrols. Divine Beast Van Naboris was also stronger after fighting such an enemy. Increases natural lightning gauge recovery. Noise. And the Gerudo are now happy. We get all the fruit. Oh, we can get this. Improved stagger resistance. Oh, very good. Here sits the Spring of Courage. Hey, we were just there. <laughs> Wreathed in an aura of mystical energy, make an offering here with a humble heart and your hands collapsed in prayer. <laughs> Impressive. With a prayer and an offering to the Spring of Courage, you felt a mysterious power welling up inside you, making you less vulnerable to being staggered by enemies. Oh, we can also grab this. Ooh, improved special attack gauge recovery. Here sits the Spring of Wisdom, wreathed in an aura of mystical energy. Make an offering here with humble heart, and your hands clasped in prayer. <laughs> with a prayer and an offering to the Spring of Wisdom, you felt a mysterious power welling up inside you, making it easier to execute special attacks. Okay, I'm going to do that because I want to grab these since they are big and important. Well, that's odd. You think that there, or is that? You think that there would be like a, since there was a spring of wisdom and courage. I thought spring of power would also be included, but I guess not. Do, 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 do. Spear bonus combo. I don't really use that many spears. She gets light bonus combo though. The researchers have an ambitious idea for their next experiment, but they're sorely lacking in funds they need to make it happen. Help them scrape together some cash. As in all my cash. I refuse to be any when you announced the good news, the lab erupted with cheers. Now we can pull off the experiment for sure. You felt certain researchers would put your donations to good use. Then up here is also big chickens and the berries. Mm -hmm. I don't really have much money. So we'll have to sell some things. <laughs> what? <laughs> we have so many mighty bananas! So many! Also, I just want to see. Why does this have like a star next to it? Why does this have a star next to it? I am confused. <laughs> Let's sell at least a decent few mighty bananas. Because 
We just have so many. But I don't think that'll be enough because we need like 20 volt fin, I think, for. Yeah. Let's see a monk bonus combo. <laughs> Sale of mighty potassium, indeed. Let's see. Specifically, we could use like a. I guess we'll go ahead and do that since it should be very quick. I should have done material drop. <laughs> oh, wow. And I should have also looked and saw what uh, the Vaw Meadow diddly dee required. Also, since we're doing a Rito mission, this reminds me that uh, somewhat recently I discovered, like, uh, that in the Ocarina of Time manga, there were actually bird people. Which is, like, very interesting. And they actually looked like bird people. As opposed to, like, uh, the uh, Rito originally from. Uh, Wind Waker, which are just pe uh, <laughs> normal humans with beaks and wings, I think. So it's just, like, kind of interesting that, like, the manga had, like, just interesting little things like that. I kind of wonder why, specifically. Granted, it's been a long time since I've played Ocarina of Time. Hints my brain's incessant. You should play it! You should play it! Because I do not remember there even being mention of bird people. I still love this song. Do -do 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 -do. I, I fall for that each time. Yeah, there obviously weren't any in the game, but I don't even think there were any mentioned to exist. Then again, the manga also went and, like, turned a boss into, like, Young Link's pet, like, dragon creature that got corrupted by Ganon in the future. get bombed. We each bombed each other. Slightly. Get knocked off. <laughs> Darn it. He can just do that from standing. Do not try to make a tornado. Very illegal. But it's just very interesting that, like, The Legend of Zelda just across multiple parts have bird people. And until, like, Breath of the Wild, they weren't really a super duper major thing. It's just very interesting. Makes me wonder what, like, how many fantastical sentient races there have been across all the... Zelda games that you might not think about as much because they don't have the same renown as like the Gorons and the Zora. Yeah, because here we need the whole chicken. <laughs> they were a reclusive race that hid in the skies. At least that makes sense. A husband confides that he and his wife got into an argument during their honeymoon. To help him show how deeply he values their union, gather some of his wife's favorite berries. And also, <laughs> trophies of the evil dead monsters. I 
and won't stop aiming higher. The husband brought his wife a basket full of fresh wild berries, along with a heartfelt apology letter. She was deeply moved by the gesture, and the two of them reconciled. I kind of like to imagine that that is actually, like, Ravali doing that, since it's his upgrade. That he's just like, hey. I have to help them, but I have to do it in an aloof way to make it seem like I don't actually care. Give me the Volt Fin, which I do believe should... Yep, make it so we can do... Regulating the Reservoir. The Zora are using Divine Beast Varuta to adjust the water level in the Eastern Reservoir. Bring provisions for the Zora who have taken on such an enormous task. The provisions you brought must have energized everyone because the Zora workers finished work on the reservoir level early. They had time to upgrade Divine Beast Varuta, too. The time to recharge Icicle Barrage has been reduced. I think Skyward Sword made a small reference to them. I definitely need to play Skyward Sword. I think I have the remaster on Switch. I definitely need to play it at some time. I don't even know if I could do, like, the... Because I, I don't know what the modes are because I know... The original Wii version of Skyward Sword, it was like, ah, you use the Wiimote to make the slashes. But, uh, I think my, uh, what are they called? The Joy-Cons just completely blasted out of my brain. But the Joy-Cons, my Joy-Cons, utterly annihilated by drift. I didn't, I, like, I never use them because I always use my, uh, Pro controller, and I always use it played in the dock, so I never really thought to test my Joy Cons. One time, took them out just to like uh, do something just in do uh, like undocked mode. Absolutely terrible. Pain. Hmm. Let me see. Like, uh, mat ah. go here, then material. Well, I think we need just like one whole chicken. We need one whole chicken, so yeah, we can just come up here and do this. Fight a Henox and a Lionel. A show of strength. And because it is for Vomedo. And because we're here, let's see. Where's the extra drop? Where's the extra drop rate? I know you're in here somewhere. Material drop rate. You call this oh. Oh, and then I need to yell bleh. I don't know why. <laughs> My brain just go bleg. Surprising. Let's go, Ravali. Beat up the monsters in the hills. Do 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 do. I just I really love this game. I kind of, like, uh, it probably isn't, but I do find it kind of amusing that after all of the Breath of the Wild has no music jokes that this game just went ham on the soundtrack. Like, probably not literally, but, like, caused by it, but it just, it's kind of amusing. Get obliterated, Hinox. Luckily, the Lionel is preoccupied. Get Flory rushed, idiot. I could barely even see. I still can hardly see. Dare you come riding in, you heathenist beast. Every single time he does a back jump. This allows me to do major damage on the Lionel weak point. Oh, won't be able to stop that. Dang it. Uh, 
They both want all my runes. They want all my runes. Get flurry rushed. Jerk. And then I can solo this Lionel. 1v1. I was in a post-victory locked animation. At least I assume so. I was trying to move. Get flurry rushed, idiot. Cool down. I shall bonk you on the head with ice. like one hit away. Oh. Wasn't even meaning to flurry rush, but huzzah. Be still. Be still indeed. With my ultimate weak point break combo. Might not be able to single cycle you, but almost. Get bonked. Oblivion comes for you as you just hover in the air. Fantastic. Well, if I ever need Lionel and Henox, that's the place to go, I guess. Screen, loading screen. Revitalize those in the skies. The Rito warriors are using Divine Beast Varmeadow to patrol the land from above. Bring them something to thank them for their exhausting work with the Divine Beast. Have all this meat. The Rito warriors were refreshed by the food you brought them and could resume their sky patrols with vigor. More importantly, Divine Beast Varmeadow became easier to pilot. Recharge time for light blades and aerial bombardment has been reduced. Huzzah. Let's see, and that is Daruk's special attack gauge. Definitely need to do that. A new event called the Gut Check Challenge has been set up for, at the famed Gut Check Rock. Lord Daruk will take the first climb. Give him a gift to help him scale the rock more quickly. And we just got this Lionel trophy. The next battle's on me. With throngs of spectators looking on, Daruk took the first took the gut check challenge for the first time and made it all the way to the top. Excitement filled the air as others attempted to match his feet. So I won't be able to buy some ancient cores, but let's see, what else can I sell? Again, I want I wonder what this is. Like, hey. Oh, well, we have a a star next to this for some reason, but I don't see any items in here that correlate. I don't know, maybe it's a maybe it has like a hidden all oh, something in here I'll buy for extra money or something. I have no idea. Or maybe that's just like the going market rate for things. Things in here are slightly more expensive than usual to, like, sell. No idea. Don't really have anything in here that I'd like to super sell. Maybe a few guts. Ten guts. I believe we still need a few... Weird that, like, for things that have, like, a single amount, they're like, ah, you can either buy the one or buy them all. All one of them. <laughs> Let me quickly check this. Because hmm, yes. we still need... 
those research things, and I need to do more beat up the big things. Thanks. Yes, quite. But I do believe we will go uh, to the evils, I guess. I will, I guess, play as Link, because we're at the castle. It just seems right. I guess we'll do material drop rate and experience, as usual. And I guess, let's go, I guess. <laughs> it's question mark, question mark, question mark, so bad things are going to happen. All of the countermeasures to Calamity Ganon were in place. Except one. The princess had not yet awakened her sealing power. In hopes of preventing her kingdom's destruction, Zelda resolved to train at the Spring of Wisdom. <laughs> Go there faster than in canon. Souls younger than 17 years were forbidden from setting foot on Mount Levin. Oh, while well, the world the is going to end, I feel like you can make an exception. Lack the spring's namesake. Zelda made plans to ascend. As soon as she was of age. Is it really wise to adhere to tradition when, like, we literally know on Zelda's birthday, the calamity strikes? Knowing that this would be the day of Calamity Ganon's revival, King Rome urged his people to evacuate. He deployed the four divine beasts to quell the horrors of the calamity until Zelda returned. In a way, that's kind of sad because, like, all the champions, like, gathered at the base of Mount Laneiru to greet Zelda after her, like, uh, like in the original timeline, after she came down from the Lake of Wisdom, or the Spring of Wisdom. So, now they won't even be there for her. Which, I mean, I guess uh, the Calamity is striking. <laughs> She didn't even take the egg with them. I finally finished my painstaking analysis. Oh, yeah! Yeah, yeah, we're all very impressed. Now, what did you find? Horrors beyond tell. Stop right there. You have been invaded. Oh, great. <laughs> Did they actually just carry Yigik masks with them? Careless, this is bad. Come on, Egg. Body slam him. Go! Stop that thing! Run, Egg. Run! And this is definitely not canon, because I'm playing as Link when you should be with Zelda. Or is this before? Ah, right as we're leaving. So many are awaiting my inner power, believing in me. This is my last chance. Princess, it'll all work out. Everything will just... A line at the Spring of Wisdom. Hopefully. Or will it? Will Doom come early? Time to head out. Farewell, Father. He was probably too far away to hear that, but still. Man, you're going fast. Oh, hey. Huh? The Sheikah Slate? What is the horrors that were seen and discovered Something that the Yiga did not happened. want to be seen? Oh, is it actually happening early? It cannot be. But it is! Oh boy. Oh. Ah. That's neat. So they don't even need the sh the slate to teleport to the towers, it seems. I can't believe it. The calamity is here. But I do like that they're actually using the towers as spotting points. Well, then, you seem the to champions. Have been taken by surprise. This is bad. 
and now the powers are going wonky. If the calamity was able to overtake Hyrule Castle. <laughs> oh, are the towers going dormant? I guess it makes sense. Or, uh, well, I guess they're not going straight down, but... No, the calamity. It's already begun. The monsters are just invading. Father will still be within the sanctum. Quickly, there's not a moment to lose. Princess, it's too dangerous. Oh, fine, Link, back her up. How dare you smack me. Highly illegal. From YouTube chat. Howdy. Hello, hello. Great evils are abound. I do wonder how the Yiga even invaded. Oh, uh, like... <laughs> Pura and Robbie's research team. I guess I... I guess it wouldn't be too surprising if... Like, uh... The Yiga had spies within the Sheikah, I guess. Get frozen. And you know what? This actually makes interesting sense because... The little egg guardian gave Zelda the slate so she can use it in combat here. <laughs> kind of neat. Oh, you are just throwing that thing like crazy, aren't you? Take this. It's smacked, idiot. Get poked. And destroyed. Seriously, the calamity is at the height of its power is just able to spawn the goblins in the castle. It's actually kind of interesting. And it hasn't even started to <laughs> infect the guardians yet. It just turned off all the towers. Oh, now they're gonna activate for evil. Oh boy. Huh? Calamity Ganon is taking control of the guardians. At least of some so far. Hey there, Guardian. I too will perform my sworn duty. Pop! Lol. Goodbye. I thought you were gonna be far scarier. Here, I thought you were gonna be so much scarier. And you're just not. You're nothing. timeline hadn't changed but it did because this is Zelda's birthday and she was heading out to Mount Lanayru because in the canon timeline she did make it to Mount Lanayru and it's when she came down from the the spring of wisdom that Calamity Ganon struck meanwhile it seems to happen ever so slightly faster here Because, like, I wouldn't be surprised if, because, like, uh, if this is Zelda's birthday, it is, like, uh, especially because of all the information, it makes more sense for them to leave, like, a day early to get to Mount Lanayru as quickly as possible, and then, like, have it so that she's there at the base of the mountain just in time for her birthday to be able to go up as quickly as possible to awaken her power before... Calamity Ganon awakens. And here, it seems to be dusk before they even left the castle. So it makes... It doesn't make much sense for the Calamity to happen at the same time, implying that they, like, were slower? 
to get there. Just doesn't make sense. Do this on you. <laughs> Pretty crappy birthday, in my opinion. Yep. But yeah, in the original timeline, it was just, uh, like, she still went on her birthday, but she came down from the Mount Lanayru around dusk. Whereas it's dusk here, and it is, like, they're still at the castle. So the implication to me is that they were leaving a day early. The king fled through the back entrance. We were cut off from the others amid the chaos. Let's exit the back as well, then. I'm so relieved father is all right. So far. Guardian spam, let's go. Luckily in this game, guardians are apparently nothing to me. But yeah, ultimately, with Monsters and the Guardians inside the castle, there's no time I'm to waste. But yeah, to me, it seems to be implied that since they knew that the Calamity was going to happen on Zelda's birthday, Zelda was going to head out early, like a day early, to get to the mountain the night before her birthday, so the morning of her birthday she can go up there and... Oh, I'm going to be utterly annihilated if all these wake up at the same time. But yeah, like, since they're still at the castle, it's dusk. It just seems to be implied that it's a day early, which is why they're all caught off guard. They wouldn't be caught off guard if it happened at the same time. Get Flurry Rushed. <laughs> but the king was more lenient in this timeline, meaning he would have, uh, could have waited until the end of the day. No, because it's dusk and they're at the castle. You cannot get to Mount Lanayru from the castle when it is dusk and you leave <laughs> from the castle at dusk. The timeline would not work. And plus, again, them being surprised of it happening right now implies that it's the day before. Because, again, they know that the calamity happens on her birthday. So, they wouldn't be, like, uh... Like, they would just say, it doesn't make sense to do that. <laughs> And while Rome was more lenient, like, uh, it's not, like, he was more lenient in letting her study the Guardian tech. It wouldn't just be like, oh, yes, and now we shall, uh, let you have your birthday, like, I don't know. Is there a... Dude. don't see any way up. Maybe I have to go backwards. Yeah, probably have to go backwards. It could have been hours earlier than expected. That's why I'm thinking it's more like a day ahead. Because then again, because again, leave a day early to get there so that it's as early in her birthday as possible to try and get her to awaken her powers. And uh, so if she can awaken her powers just a smidge early they can use that to be more prepared and plus with the time travel included it just kind of makes sense that time things would change especially because it wouldn't be like that surprising no the gardens have activated if we don't do something they'll attack from both sides if I stay calm, we'll be fine. Let's advance carefully and watch our backs. Like, uh, considering that there is the evil guardian, the evil mini guardian, I wouldn't be surprised if that little ounce 
of Calamity having come through before Calamity Ganon was released kind of weakened the seals to a degree and made it so that Calamity Ganon fully was able to escape a bit earlier due to there being a little bit of uncontained calamity and malice outdoing things. I'm going to come down here and destroy those guardians because I want their parts. Those parts are expensive. But overall, that's just a theory. Zelda, your dad the king can wait. <laughs> to be fair, I am taking out high threat enemies. That way, there are less guardians within the castle causing chaos. Which means if anybody else, like, got caught off guard and are freaking out in the castle, they'll be less at risk. Like this Korok, he's in danger. We couldn't just leave him behind. You think I can just take his seed and just leave him to die? No charging at me. Highly illegal actions. We have a mini guardian in here. No spamming in here. Mini guardian scout one. Okay, that's blocked off, so nothing to worry about. here now. I do like that the this level is mimicking the design from the actual Breath of the Wild. Get out of here, Keese. I knew there was another broken one. Uh, that just appeared to be an apple seller for some reason. Make way for me, giant monsters. This place will not be your dining hall. Masterfully accomplished. Because I killed a bunch of enemies, not because I forwarded the story. keep our barrels of wine. Highly unrealistic. Somebody would have come in here trying to take all the barrels of wine with them. Get out of here. This is not yours anymore. It's mine. This is my dining hall to destroy and ravage. Get out of here. For, my, for some reason, seeing the, like, white, silver Bokoblins just immediately reminded of a line from, I think, Full Metal Alchemist. Says, Quick, shoot these white guys! Yes, yeah, fine, Zelda will kill them. 
you can feel more at ease. Oh, another Korok. I'm just finding all the Koroks in this level. Other levels, I just keep missing them. Here? Nope. Allow me to take you out. Just when I thought we were about to escape. Let me hit that. Aha! Take this, white maned Lionel! so that you can explode on your own terms. Freeze you again. How dare you just, like, shoulder check me while I was in the air. I wonder if all Lynels use electricity arrows because of the one on Ploymus Mountain. We did it! Just a little farther and we're out. Please hurry. A large number of guardians have appeared within the castle. We haven't time for this. Head for the exit. But I can utterly annihilate guardians. Well, I guess the... Ah, because there's stairs beneath. I guess my vague memory. We made it somehow. Still, I can't believe the Guardians have turned on us. I'll continue my thought after the dialogue. I never imagined this would happen. We must hurry to my father. Knowing our luck, he's already dead. Wait, like, I... I think my vague memory of, like, another 2D Zelda game made me think, oh, we can escape through, like, near the the statue. <laughs> we have enough time for this Neon Link. Hold my beer. Why is it holding like that? It, it had to dramatically pause for King Rome to one-shot it. King Rome, you're just as badass as me. Now, you are the knight to Princess Zelda. <gasps> Protect her. I trust that you understand your duty. <laughs> my, my father! Stop! Let go! <laughs> I guess he didn't fully one-shot it. <laughs> As depressing as this is, I like this. It kind of redeems Rome to a degree. My daughter. <laughs> or it should say, Age of Calamity Rome. <laughs> like. Jesus. Age of Calamity Rome redeems himself against Breath of the Wild Rome. <laughs> even is that? A Lionel Crusher. And a Royal Guard's Claymore. Oh, hey, we got one of the things for the things things. Zelda and Link relationship ruined. Only slightly. Oh, okay, that's horrifying. They're just spawning from the pillars. I wonder if this means that in this timeline, Hatino Village just got utterly fucked. Because it was because of uh, Zelda, like, horror awakening her powers to save Link that protected Hatino Village from damnation. <laughs> and also, Pura and Robbie were in the castle, too. <laughs> Rip to the King of Hyrule. That's the pictures they, that Pru and Robbie saw. Granted, they only saw it at, like a, ten minutes early. <laughs> they wouldn't have been able to warn everybody. Warning: everything will go to shit. 
at least it's kind of cute that she considers the champions her friends. Why won't you waken for me? Because Hylia is a bitch. She's calling you a nerd. The little guardian. <laughs> this is so sad. Oh, little guardian plays Elder's lullaby. If it was for not. <laughs> oh, hey, just like the... <gasps> just like the, the towers, a tear manifests a thing. <laughs> Captain Planet, I guess. Like, what did you do? It was a thing. It not even it knows. Look up. Yep, that's Vomito's cry. Can we still do this? Well, the egg thinks so. All is not lost. We can still do something. Come on. Now I wonder in the original Breath of the Wild timeline where Impa was during all this. Or, like, the original events. It's almost like in this, uh, like, version of events, Impa's like a second attendant to Zelda. We don't know what that light show was, but it has to mean something. She was dead? She can't be dead. She was old in Breath of the Wild. I wonder when the, why that... Memories of hidden battles have been discovered. Mipa, Daruk, Urbos, and Ravali are trapped in their divine beasts, which means I probably can't even use them. Hmm. Mount Daphne's to Zelda's side. I wonder when I should do these, considering they have appeared right now. Because EX is like DLC stuff. And I've never done these, I do not think. I've never done them. So I don't know if I should like... Hmm. Well, let me quickly check. What are chapters? So, EX to Zelda's side. Hmm. I'm gonna hold off just for now. Because even though this, like, unlocked right now, and apparently I play as the egg. Like, who knows? Like, maybe other EX memories will become unlocked as I do the, like, main story. But, like, so long as EX to Zelda's side remains... Hmm. Actually, I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up. Age of Calamity. When should I do DLC missions? Do not know. Because <laughs> I've never. Because I know I've never done these. So I do not know. Hmm, I think at least for now, what I'll do is. Just play the base game, and then maybe, because this it unlocked, so like we'll do a bit more of the base game, and then we might come back and do EX to Zelda's side, just to see what that has in store for us, because it unlocked 
at this point in the game. So I assume that it, that it serves some purpose. Because elsewise, it would be like a champion's ballad after you beat, like, the major portion of the game mode kick in. Earn, res <laughs> Earn recipe for dubious food? What? Why? An explorer who's seen it all knows the ultimate survival trick. Using a flexible recipe that works with a variety of things you find in the wild. Bring him ingredients, he'll cook it for you. He'll cook you a horrible, horrible nightmare. The explorer cooked you some very dubious food. An inquired taste no one would want to acquire. Then again, food is food, and it's easy to make if you're desperate. Rupees a hundred percent! Not very flexible if it calls for durian, though. Zelda special attack gauge? Definitely with this. Princess Zelda wishes to learn much as she can about the native flora and fauna of Hyrule. Collect some choice specimens for her to examine. It seems I've grown stronger. The princess was fascinated by all the samples of Hyrule's diverse wildlife. She smiled happily, very satisfied that she had deepened her understanding. Oh yeah, and they're just gone. We can't even upgrade them. Oh boy. Yep, they're gone, gone. They're ultra gone. They're super mega doom gone. Let me see. I guess I'll quickly make sure I don't have any, like, extra fusion experience. Oh! Then let's definitely find, like, 100 per KO. Although maybe we're not going to be able to hit that this time. I just need to avoid the super duper high level weapons. Hmm. <laughs> Although we're close to getting another emblem for it. So let's see. Boost it to level 9. And then if I come over here... Where are you? And then that'll put us over to the damage 100 plus KOs. So we just do major damage the longer missions go on. You know what? I was going to end it there on the question mark, question mark. But there's much to be done. So I'll buy you. And I'll buy you. And then let's see if that. <laughs> Would be funny if Pur and Robbie couldn't do anything because they're technically stolen. And apparently we get a thing if we do this. <laughs> Obtain question mark question mark question mark. Something's something's been on my mind lately. Why not use the unfathomable power of ancient relics to craft a tool for fighting the calamity? Hmm? Yes, I've been eyeing the guardians part. I've been eyeing guardians in particular. Sure, take this guardian claw. Extraordinary! <laughs> At last, it is finished. The guardian flail, a weapon boasting the strength and dexterity of a guardian. Link, if anyone can master this marvelous weapon, I'm certain it's you. Guardian Flail, a weapon developed from a guardian's powerful claws. It expands and contracts on demand and can be used to copy an enemy's weapon. Hmm. It's difficult to wield, but if anyone is up to the task, it's Link. Neat. And these are Flail upgrades. <laughs> Ancient Bladed Flail. And Obtained Fortified Flail. Ooh. I guess we can go ahead and get this out of the way so this section's all done. Increase the duration of rods. Why do you think I've been baking apples nonstop over here? Because I'm an enormous fruit fan? As Robbie would say, hmm, yes. But he would be wrong. Have done it I achieved perfect control over fire rods. 
and I better understand all rods now. This is why I baked all those apples, and now Robbie doesn't have to eat burned fruit from lunch anymore. Booyah. Don't be a stranger. What? Oh, I guess all oh, because those are the flail missions now. Gotcha. Yeah, so flails only, and these like bonus combo stuff. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But air and lightning. Ooh. Here I thought there would be like one to one, but no. Like we are gonna free two divine beasts at once, apparently. Let's see, who do I want to send in? Hmm. I'll definitely use you. How much money do I have? I think I'm poor. <laughs> So let's go here and sell. I don't want to sell too much of, like, super important things. We'll sell a decent amount of Mighty Bananas. And then go about sell other things to try and get money to upgrade Impa. But I don't want to take anything below... Like, I only want to sell things that are, like, above a hundred, and don't want to take them below a hundred, because some things take a crazy amount of money. Some things take a crazy amount of money. Or, like, a, not only money, but a crazy amount of resources as well. Some of them take, like, I demand a hundred of this thing. I'll take three thousand, yeah. They'll solve all my problems for now. First things first, we come here to try and fuse up her best weapon. She's almost at 10. So let's see. her weapon so that she can do more damage. Up. Ah, here we go. So let's first try and find... Is there... Up. There we go. Mm -hmm. Precisely. <laughs> now we'll go to the training. <laughs> Spend a lot of money power leveling him up. As we go, air and lightning. Oh, we don't have, uh, I guess story missions don't have descriptions. Kind of neat. This looks quite satisfying. What a treat. Let us go to air and lightning. Well, that's ominous. <laughs> Still no idea how that works for her. The time traveling oh. guardian contained records with a depiction Rome really of is dead. Beasts falling under Not the even narrator anymore. Ganon. These records also included an image of a scene in the west of Hyrule with the inevitable revival of this malevolent force, Varmedo. And Varnaboris were poised to attack. And then they got yoinked. Seeing the unmistakable blue lights of Varmeda, Zelda held out hope that Ravali and Abosa still stood. Zelda and her party rushed to rescue them while there was still time. Yeah, since Link didn't have to, like, basically die to save Zelda. It is like we're actually going to get to see some bits of the fights. Cool. I'm in trouble. What about you, Rivali? Spending so much time dodging, you can hardly get some shots off. They're both on the defensive. They're unable to do anything. Got a muscle cramp? 
Oh, he actually got... He says as he gets sent tumbling. Double-barreled gun! I, that is... He's very bad. Oh, yeah! And I remember! Teba! Teba, Rito Warrior. <laughs> and Sand Seal. You ever see uh, a demon get tackled by a Sand Seal? Riju, Child of Lightning. <laughs> Patricia, the best Sand Seal. <laughs> I wonder if any of them just like saw like the all oh, were actually at different sides. Okay, you head to there. Bomb the meadow is still airborne. Let's head over there and assist Von Boris first. Lady Obosa is inside Von Boris, but the gates are locked. Please help us! But yeah, like, I wonder if, like, those portals to the past, I guess, just opened up and they're like, did they have any, like, context? A call? They just went, I shall dive in! Masterfully accomplished. Of course it's masterfully accomplished. I'm not dead in this timeline. enemies done okay we'll have link be told to go there how dare you hit me illegal Frozen, idiot. You don't even have a weapon. Don't even have any allies to throw at me. Keeping them all at bay. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and blow you up. Kaboom. Take you out. We have our Bosa to save. And after we save our Bosa, then we can save the boy! Come yeah, on, throw your weapon so I can smack you with it. We have a path forward. Come on! Lord. Let me just gather up some runes. And now I'll just come over here and one shot you. Steal yourself. I am ready. Oh, I didn't even one shot you. Very impressive, Fire Moblin. Get torn to shreds by a million clones. But man, if this is like what the feel, like the just the areas of Hyrule are, the night the calamity came back, no wonder everything just died. Hey there, Ice Moblin, prepare to die. 
Oh well, they're putting up a better fight than I anticipated. Don't you forget about us up there. I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying, game. The way to Vanda Boris is open. Onward, to Orbosa. Of course you say that. She's basically your second mom. What about the boy? But all the music that's playing is fantastic. Love the music in this game. Like if there's a, like I just feel like Age of Calamity is the perfect complimentary game to Breath of the Wild. It allows you to get more time with the characters, the champions. It like expands on the story. It has like all the music that Breath of the Wild just didn't have because of the thematics. Just so good. You can hold on for Bosa just a little bit longer. I gotta farm up enemies to kill. Let me <laughs> go far back so I can yeet the bombs at him properly. Yeah, just like I also really love that the story is kind of its own thing a different take on the events of Breath of the Wild it's just so good not what I meant to do but I shall take you down electric Lionel we all refuse to fall here that is precisely the point of this Oh, I, I just got a second. Take this, Lionel. Oh, oh, that's Bushy. You just went super yeet. How dare. Get frozen. Darn it, you hit me. Prepare to die, Lino. <laughs> Rebosa's very strong. She casually fights while in high heels. The ultimate standing. If you can fight in high heels, you are god. Thanks to the little one, others can now board Varna Boris. Thank you for being a beloved MacGuffin, darling little, <laughs> little one. I like that it kind of implies that even though there was reinforcements from the future, it still takes Link to pit tip the scales. Thunder Blight Ganon, Shard of Calamity Ganon. I thought he was strong enough to protect you. Listen. You bought us much needed time. Exactly. Now look who's come to help. The champion himself. Again, those abs. Thunderbly is just like, what the fuck is going on? This is not according to plan. You actually, we'll talk later. I need your help. <laughs> All right, now the real battle begins. Let us put that beast in its place. Ow. Get frozen. I do like that it uh, implies that. Wait, did Re does Rishu even know that Link was uh, the original like champion knight from the past? It'd be kind of funny if she didn't. Oh, oh! I got walled. 
stasis out of anger. Unvarnished brute force will not serve us. Focus on the gaps in the enemy's defenses. What if I did this and brute force? Who needs gaps in the enemy when I can just brute force? I'm not accustomed to being in need of rescue. Regardless, thank you. So now we have to board Vaughn Meadow in the skies, hmm? I know just the way. Because now we have Naboris on our side again. That's a badass. <laughs> That's a badass. She summoned! She broke open a mountain! To cause ultimate wind! We can use the updraft to carry us to the divine... Ah. Uh. Lady Obos is exhausted from battle, so I will accompany you. Let us hurry to Mount Rome. <laughs> I heard Rita warriors were nearby. Perhaps they can enter the outpost and open the gates. Actually, let's see... Link can head that way, while Riju can head to the Rito. So that's, let's actually play as her. Reinforcements from the future! Sand Seal so badass, she's able to Sand Seal in stone. Oh, it's a Hinox! Everyone, retreat! We can't proceed because of the monster's assault. That means we'll need to clear them out. And it's an ice Hinox, too. I completely missed my, uh, my turn off. The music's so good and I can't hardly hear it. Because I think there was a... Uh... the Rito Village motif in there for a moment. Because it's kind of a combination of Rito and uh, Gerudo, because that's what this level is. Okay. Let's whirl up a fearsome gale! How about I blast you with fire? Oh, screw you, Ice Choose. Or maybe it was just a nice attack from you. I, I assume it was a nice Chew there, because he was not attacking. Yeah, you, uh, stay with the Rito Captain. Let me take out the shoes first, they'll not explode in my face. You've lasted this long against me? I'm mildly impressed. <sighs> Save the Rito. Get out of here. How dare you blast me? Frozen. Since I did use a fire wand, oh, this is likely. Got 
take out all these enemies to get all of the KOs that I can get. <laughs> Since my Master Sword is just taken with damage plus per 100 KO. Excuse me there, giant bundle of enemies for me to kill. Allow me to just do this and blast you away. Get annihilated, fool. You got rid of the Hinox for us, thank you. Wait here and we'll open the outpost gates. Wonderful. They stay true to their word. Well, I mean, we are going to save their their hero, their champion. Hey, you should know there's a Lionel near the mountain summit. Be careful out there. If we tried riding the upcast, we get shot down. We'll have to l handle the Lionel first. Get bombed, idiot. Since I upgraded the bombs, they alone can wipe out a Bacoblin captain. Out of the way, Bacoblins. Dare try to face me, Wizrobe? Say goodbye. So we ride the wind to get up here. There, Lionel. How about I bomb you? Oh, Jesus. That actually did all the damage to you. <laughs> Let me just do this. Annihilate you ever faster. Freeze you. Yeah, the damage per 100 KOs is finally kicking in to annihilate. Now it's time to ride the updrafts. For those who remain, press forward on the ground. Hello, Korok. Why didn't you go save the day? Now we ride the ultimate wind. We have two of you flying about. All yours, Master of Ali. Should be able to yeah, distract him. Some payback is in order. Just gotta counter it. Darn it. These things were tailor made to defeat their champions, I guess. Shard of Calamity Ganon. Wind Blight Ganon. Still standing? Yes. And yet, I can't help but feel that the wind may finally be at our backs. <laughs> because Link is here. <laughs> I guess even Rivali's like, Well, he is here to save my ass. Took you long enough to get here, eh? I know I'm worth the trouble, but you really shouldn't have. I think what the champion means to say is thank you. Now let's get rid of this thing. Take that, Wind Blight. Especially because even Teba is like suffering majorly. Ah, oh, darn it. Probably ran out right. <laughs> Your attack finished right when my rude got back. Sadness. 
But yeah, the fact that you have two guns, I do not remember you having two guns. Freeze you to get more hits on your weak point. How about I do this instead? Who needs a rune when I can just kick your ass? Um. <laughs> there we go. All right. That thing must be finished now. Hardly. It just ran away for the time being. Of course. We'd be in serious trouble if not for you, Link. It was an honor to fight by your side again. It must be confusing for Link, because he's just like, I have never met you. Wrong Link. <laughs> Old Link, who dis? <laughs> Ooh, devoted Kadachi. <laughs> the weapon is bows for <laughs> the sand seal. That's adorable. Damage from enemies, minus five. They're just giving you a lot of different ways to do that, which is kind of nice. Now then. First, I owe you my gratitude. Thank you for your help. Truly. Urbosa. And second, Such a badass ensemble. <laughs> freed you, you sent. We could not have prevailed without your aim. I, I would not presume to take credit. We, all of us, fought as one. been just fine without you. <laughs> but I suppose it's better that you were here. I never thought the champion would be so... Hold that <laughs> thought for now. Little bird. Please, tell us what happened at Hyrule Castle. Utter apocalypse. The king is dead. So dead he got killed oh, out of the narrator role. With the aid of Tabor and Riju, who had appeared within the Divine Beasts, Link and his forces were bolstered. Together, they successfully saved Rivali and Urbosa. Following Zelda's revelation of Hyrule Castle's fate, Rivali and Tabor steeled themselves, readying to confront the Horde Are we of getting Guardians, a Varm Meadow level again? stepped into Varm Meadow once more. Hell yeah! Var Meadow time! Let us rule the skies! <laughs> See your damnation! Teba can act as anti-air support. <laughs> He's really grown in, like, skill to be able to take on this many <laughs> guardians when the stationary shield ones were <laughs> able to take him down before. Well then, I suppose the time has finally come. Bomb Meadows divine power! Exactly! Come on, Guardians. While we were trapped inside the Divine Beast, they went unchecked. That stops now. I'm with you, Master Ravali. Let's take out the outpost to stem the flow of enemies. Their numbers are great, but no need to panic. Let's thoroughly wipe out the enemy outposts. Time to clean up this mess. Wonders, 
Huh, looks like Palmetto's output is increasing. I wonder if it's because of you. Not to overstate my importance, but I'm glad to be... My presence here has done some good. Then let let loose our superior strategy. Wind blight? Get out of here. Curses. Look who's back. How about I do this? Get out of here. Come on. Do we finish it off this time? No, he gave us the slip again. He's an expert at retreating, it seems. Go. See how many enemies they need to try and take on Vometo? How unlucky for him that it appeared in front of Vometo. Should we ask him to leave? They've done quite a bit of destruction. Let's show the same courtesy to the remaining outposts. Get out of here, Windblight. I'll blast you again! Yeah, it looks like he fled. We have momentum. Let's keep it up. We have some health to spare to get that maiming. Man, there's so many <laughs> tiny little enemies down there. And now Henoxes. What are they going to do? <laughs> do, uh, what's it called? That a uh, telephone pole throwing? Oh, there was one down there. Take it out. Did they really have, like, a flying platform? for the Moblin to throw an ally at us. I can't wait to tell the folks back home about this. Shame none of them will believe me. Yes, yes, Wizrobe, we all know. You're a big jerk. Maybe not have been a... a post, but it felt like it. Oh, come on! How is it still coming for us? Some people never learn. Let's make them sorry they ever laid eyes on us. Get burned, Wind Blight. Die by the power of Vomedo. Crisscross again. How dare you move about while stunned. Illegal. Excellent. Master Rivoli, that was, well, masterful. <laughs> yes, and you did well too, Teba. Picking a fight with us? <laughs> they got off easy. Booyah. Utterly grand. From YouTube chat, one guardian alone is hard enough, but a whole army of guardians. That's really terrifying. I can see why Calamity Ganon decided to take control over them. He learned after, because they were used against him 10,000 years ago. It probably was a curb stomp battle against Calamity Ganon in the original 10,000 years ago. So this time he's like, I'm going to play that role this time. Ooh, now it's playing depressing music. Taba, Rito Warrior. The Rito warrior from the future who idolizes Champion Ravali. 
He is peerless in the art of flying and devoted to training. He can also be quick to anger. Riju, child of lightning, a descendant of Champion Urbosa from the future. She assumed the mantle of Gerudo Chief when she was only a child. She fights fearlessly to protect her people. Ooh, we got upgrades for Teba and probably upgrades for Riju down there. And another Memories of Hidden Battle have been discovered. Ravali and Urbosa have returned! Teba's training. I wonder where the other... Hmm. Because it specifically said other memories. So I can only assume that... Yeah, it looks like we have to do two Zelda side to unlock other EX ones. Gotcha, gotcha. Let's see, what's a good... Oh, we gotta do it! It's the armor! It's the armor! The mountaineer from a distant land is heading for Talanto Peak in search of a fabled white bird. It can get quite chilly up there, so he'll need something to stave off frostbite. I have further to soar. Sitting atop a lone cedar at the summit, the man peered down and sighted a bird-shaped clearing. Though not what he had sought, the man, a Hyrulean soldier, called it a nice training spot. And there it is, the Snow Quill Tunic. Seems bonus hearts. Ability to remove all seals. What do you mean? I need that. <laughs> In Rito Village, weapon artisans use a method for honing arrowheads that's been passed down for generations. An artisan will show you how it's done if you collect the required materials. Secret of the Rito Artisans. <laughs> Impressive. After you got the materials, the Rito Artisan showed you the secret honing method. With this knowledge, you could surely remove the seals on a weapon in the blink of an eye. The Hy Hylian Blacksmith Guild is a proud to announce a new service, seal removal. Now you can modify your weapons to your personal preference. Hell yeah. And of course, the special. I'll mark that. Earn recipe for Porgy. I have no idea how to say that because it's French! Harito's songstress simply cannot sing her best unless she eats her favorite food beforehand. Just like in the future, like, uh, I forget her name, one of Cass's children. Just can't sing until she has her favorite, but it's not Porky, it was a different fish. Gather the ingredients to make this diva's dish. Good going. The songstress devoured the dish, Porky, and was able to sing a truly magnificent way. You learn the recipe, too, and what this diva requires to sing. Damage from enemies and minus 10%. Although it takes a shit ton of porgies. Bonus Revali combo. <laughs> now my brain went, was Revali the diva? <laughs> he needed it to be able to do a new combo. A bunch of Rito kids were playing at Warbler's Nest. But now they say they're so hungry they can't move. Will someone please get them a nice fishy bite to eat? Stop aiming high. The Rito kids couldn't get enough of that tasty porgy. Their bellies full of sumptuous fish. They said it might be fun to make a meal for someone else next time. And now a new heavy attack from midair. Oh, and Hebra level two. Huzzah. Seems just to be bonus hearts for Teba, but we can do them. Some Rito warriors have asked for your help keeping their kids happy. When you talk to the children of the village, they say all they want is truffles from the nearby forest. Looking pretty good, huh? Carefully tucking the hardy truffles under their wings, the children headed home with big smiles on their faces. It turns out they just wanted the truffles as a treat for their parents. We need to read. Always need that lore. A young Rito child overheard her father saying he wants to fly faster and farther than any of the other warriors. Maybe there's something she can do to help him achieve that lofty goal. I haven't yet reached.
With his daughter's help, the father could indeed fly faster and farther, but he still didn't hold a candle to Master Rivali. He chuckled and said, he just have to keep on training. And in Riju's training. Oh, down here, gain ability to remove a chosen seal. A Gerudo craftswoman devoted to the preservation of the heroine statues has created a new method for their care. Find what she needs to preserve these stone sentinels of the desert. The Gerudo craftswoman did her preservation work expertly on every facet of the statues. After seeing her new method, you could possibly remove a weapon's seals. Fleeing the weather. Flee the electricity. I guess let's see. I'm curious. Remove seals. Maybe not from you. But what about Ravali? Ooh, it requires a decent amount from each one. Ooh. Very interesting. So it does require an investment on your part to remove seals. Especially, like, specific sh seals as well. And then I wonder if that means that I can then, since it's, like, uh, lacking in a seal, if upgrading it will um, automatically add in the next one. Mm -hmm. Delightful min-maxing. Very nice. Very, very nice. <laughs> The next main level is Water and Fire, saving Daruk and Mipha. But that shall have to wait for just now. Because we've been going for about three hours. We made a lot of story progress. So I'll probably try to do some grinding on my own to get more materials and stock up on things to be able to do all these upgrades. And then next time, maybe... We'll do the EX Zelda to Zelda side mission, but uh, I'll try to do more research and be like, what's the community consensus on when you do those missions? But next time, we will definitely go and see about saving Mipha and Daruk, which means that Yanobu and uh, Sidon should be jumping in. If pattern holds. I just love this game. Music, gameplay, just the aesthetics and the design. It's just really, really good. I just love it. Honestly, I think I prefer this to Breath of the Wild purely because we actually get more story with the characters. Which is one of my favorite things from games, is the story and the characters which we just sadly didn't get all that much of from Breath of the Wild. But I do believe that that shall be that for now. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you liked what you saw, then I try to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And if you want to see other things that I do, everything that I do can be found through my link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicywings, with direct links to the various, uh, with direct links to the link tree in the various link places, descriptions, and bios of the sites. So inside my link tree, you can follow it to my edited content YouTube channel, still whittling away at some scripts for videos my streaming YouTube channel, my streaming Twitch, depending on your preference of streaming site, with all of these streams being uploaded to the streaming YouTube channel after the fact for quality. And then I upload art, like my little character in the corner in the end slates, 
to various art and social media sites linked in the link tree, and even have a few links to some story sites where I upload writing and stories, because writing is fun. And then the final link in my link tree is the Patreon. Just there's a donation bucket for the extraordinarily kind. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated. And thank you for spending your time with me. Bye-bye.